very good morning to all my dear students i hope you all are taking good care of your health by wearing mask by regularly washing your hands and third by maintaining social distance this is must in order to protect ourselves from any kind of infection so let's start today's class today we are going to do chapter number 10 chapter 9 we will do later today we are going to do chapter number 10 anger prevention kit students you all have seen the math stick math stick has a head but it does not have a brain therefore whenever there is a little friction it flares up immediately let us learn from this humble math stick you and we have heads as well as brains so therefore let us not react on impulse always smile we should have the capability to control our anger if you are getting angry that mean it that doesn't mean it will help you it will always go against you so after reading this lesson you will be able to understand that anger getting angry does not help and second anger is an emotion that one must control we can control our anger because when we get angry sometimes we are not able to control ourselves and we spoke those words that are better not only better but also spoil the relationship so in order to prevent the relationship protect the relationship in order to maintain your friendship it is must to control your anger because it will not help you it's better to discuss the problem find the solution without going into argument and getting angry for this we need patience we need to be calm and third is we have to control ourselves that is self control these three qualities will help you to control your anger and once you are in a state of controlling your anger you will definitely find yourself in a different reformed way that will improve your personality because if we get angry it spoils everything it spoils everything so let's read the story and then it will be more clear to you that how anger affect our life once some woman came to a wise man she said master i have caused great harm to my neighbor by the idle words of my mouth i grieve over what i have done can i not do anything to repair the mischief now there was a woman who was talking to a very wise intelligent man and she said that i have caused great harm to one of my neighbor by the words that i spoken anger and now i realized my mistake and can you please suggest me the way i can repair my mistake what are you having for supper tonight asked the wise man supper means evening meal a fall answered the woman get a white fall preserve the feathers and bring them to me said the wise man the woman came to the wise man the next morning she was carrying a bag of feathers the wise man said quite 
a bag full of feathers now go round the village and scatter the feathers all over the place then come back to me so the wise man suggested the old lady to get the bag of feathers and scatter them all around the village and after scattering come back to him the woman did the uh, did what the wise man said as you can see in the picture the lady was scattering a uh, feathers it was a windy day and the feathers went all over the place when the woman returned to the wise man he said now go back and gather all the feathers which you have scattered bring them all back to me now when the woman scattered all the feathers she came back to the wise man after that the wise man told her that go back and collect the feathers that you have scattered all around the village now it was a windy day all the feathers they were scattered all around the village how is it possible to gather all the feathers again the lady tried the woman looked for the feathers all over the village but she could find only a few she returned to the wise man and said master i could find only a few feathers because the wind has blown all the feathers away the wise man then said learn a lesson from this because the second time when the lady gone when the lady had gone to collect the feathers she was not able to collect the whole she collected only a few because the wind has blown them all away so the wise man said you should learn a lesson from this spoken words are like these feathers only they take wing and fly away you cannot call them back you cannot repair the mischief which they do so therefore take care that your words cause harm to no one you cannot do anything after that afterwards so what the poet uh, wise man advised her he taught her a lesson that spoken words are also like feathers once they are spoken they will not come back they also take a wing and fly away so you cannot repair your mistakes once you have spoke something bad to anyone you can't repair it you cannot repair it so the moral of the story is it does not take much time in getting angry but we must always control as it we must always control it as the wounds may heal but the scars remain so i hope you like the story and from this story you learned that anger how anger affects our life it is very important to have patience to have self control and to stay calm in order to get rid of your anger that's all for today i hope you like the story do the back exercise in your book itself and question answers in your fear notebook that's all for today thank you and have a nice day